guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be a really quick video for y'all. Um, like a really quick video because I have a haul that's got like two things and then a really quick little ghost story experience that my mom and I had today. Um, so we'll just get on in to the haul to start. This is a Cracker Barrel haul, yes. Um, did not expect to buy stuff from Cracker Barrel today when I went to lunch. Great food, by the way. Got their chicken and dumplings. Thumbs up if you love their chicken and dumplings or their macaroni and cheese. Yes, love that stuff. So, first off, and this was kind of like an impulse buy. Um, they had had an actual sweater, um, just like this, that was full price that I wanted. But then I found this little throw, um, on the clearance rack, and it was like 12 bucks. It's regular $39.99, but they had it on clearance for 12 so I was like, um, yeah, I'll take that. Because it's just like the sweater, only it's a throw. And is that not adorable? I love the color. Look, it's got like this, like, leather thing going on here. It goes around the back. Is that not super cute? OMG. Love it. And then, I don't know if you can see the designs. Yeah, there we go. It's like, almost like a flower type thing going on. And it's not quite long sleeve. It's a little bit past the elbow. Um, I did get it in a 3X because when I went in, they only had two left on the rack, which they were both 3Xs. And I was like, that's either going to work or it's not going to work. But it turned out really cute on um, it's okay that's a little bit big and slouchy because it is a throw and I can belt it which I think that's going to look really really cute belted. I've got a little black leather belt that will look nice. But I love it and we'll just insert uh, a video of me wearing it. I just tried it on for you guys so we'll insert that now. So here's the shrug. Is this just not adorable? I love this. It's a little big. The 3X, I think I should have went with like a 1X, well if they'd had a 1X, <clears throat> or 2X maybe even, that's more along the lines of what I would have went with, but it's just not super cute, and I love the leather along the top, you see if you can see the design in it, there's like, there's like, I don't know, they're flowers, kind of like flowers, so cute, I love it, it's adorable. And it would be really cute with like a little belt. I can like belt it or something. It'd be really nice like that. It's a little big, but for a throw, it works. Oh, I guess I need to go backwards. <laughs> but um, super cute. And Mike and I have a date night tomorrow, so this will look good for that. I'm excited. I love this color. This color is just, just beautiful. Just, oh, look at that. Pretty red. Who knew Cracker Barrel had such cute stuff? Like seriously. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay, so is that not freaking adorable or what? I am so excited about that, and I might go back and get the actual sweater of it. It looks the same except for it's a sweater, so I don't know if I need two of the same thing or not, um, but I was talking to the lady at the register asking when the next batch of stuff's going to go on clearance, and she said that they're going to get a list of stuff in either tonight or tomorrow morning of clearance items and they've got this adorable gray and black sweater hung up it would be so cute with leggings and like riding boots right now they want like 40 something for it but I'm like if it goes on clearance because this little um, over shirt I got was 70% off so if that gray shirt goes on sale best believe I'm gonna get it if I'm there if I know so I may have to check that out tomorrow because I'm hoping that goes on clearance soon because I really want it um, and plus it's a winter item and I think they're going to start bringing in all their spring stuff. They have like little like bluebird lamps and whatnot sitting around. I mean, I love Cracker Barrel, but I've never really like bought stuff there because it's always so expensive. So expensive. Um, so on to my last item. I got a purse. So cute. Can we look at this for a minute? Oh my God. I love this thing. Is that not? freaking adorable oh my god I love it love it love it love it like I never buy new purses because I never change my purses out like I've got five or six and I know that doesn't sound like a lot of purses for a girl 
It's a lot of purses for me considering they just sit around and I never use them. I had a ton more at one point along with shoes. I had like a crap ton. And I literally got rid of three trash bags full and took them all to Goodwill because they just sat around and I never used them. So I've limited myself. Like I said, I've got like five or six purses. And then my shoes, I mean, I've got, I've got more than five pairs of shoes, but I've really cut back. <laughs> Anyways, here's the inside of the purse. Nothing special, nothing fancy. There's like a little pocket here. Two pockets. There's a bigger one here. And then you get a little one over here. And that's it. There's no zippy pocket, which zipper pockets are nice for, you know, change and whatnot, but that's okay. And then I like that the bag zips shut which is awesome because I throw my bags around Trisha Paytas I got you girl I throw my bags around too don't don't feel bad I'm a little bit nervous there's like these like holes here on the side stuff might come flying out of there I don't know we'll find out but I just awesome I love it it's like I don't know it's like a sweater and it's soft and it's just adorable. I'm just, I'm just like in love with this purse. Um, they only had one left at my Cracker Barrel. So if you're from Kokomo, Indiana, sorry about the last one. Sorry. Maybe you can get it online. Does Cracker Barrel have an online store? I don't know. If they do, maybe you can get one online. <laughs> um, but for everybody else in the country, they're regular $34.99. And they're currently on sale for 10 bucks. And I was not expecting to uh, have it be on sale. Oh, actually, yeah, I was. Um, it had a tag on it. The lady took it off of the register. It was, um, what was it, like 12% off. So I think it was going to be like $24 or something like that. Um, it wasn't like a whole bunch off. So I wasn't expecting to get that good of a clearance. And then I got it to the register, and it's like, bam, 10 bucks. And I'm like, what? I'm getting this shirt too because I was gonna get the shirt anyways but now I'm like for sure getting the shirt so that is it for my Cracker Barrel haul um, on to my little ghost story experience whatever you want to call it that my mom and I had today it was at Cracker Barrel um, I went to the restroom first she went to go pay for lunch and when I was like finishing up using the restroom I was like drying my hands with like, the paper towel it sounded like somebody was like three to four stalls down like pulling um, toilet paper off the roll and when I'd gone in there I was the only person in the bathroom all of the doors were like kind of open so I heard that and I turned around looking expecting one of the uh, um, further down stalls to be shut thinking that somebody would be in there all the doors were open and I was like that's weird I'm leaving <laughs> so I left and then a little bit later my mom went into the restroom whatever and then we went on, went on about our day. And she didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I kind of forgot about it. And then we go back to her house. And we were sitting at the kitchen table talking. And she's like, you know, I had an odd experience happen in the bathroom at Cracker Barrel. And she was like, I was in the bathroom. And it sounded like, she's like, when I went in there, there was nobody else in there. It was just me. And all of the doors were wide open. And she's like, I was in the bathroom. And the very last one in the big stall and all of a sudden I heard toilet paper being pulled off the roll and I was like hopefully somebody's in here because that's creepy and I was the only one when I walked in and then she like got done and, and walked out of the stall and that door was open nobody in there she was the only one so I was like oh my god same thing happened to me so creepy sorry I thought I had like a water spot on my ceiling but it was like the light reflecting in my eyes and I looked at the ceiling and playing tricks <laughs> playing tricks but yeah, so if you've ever had a ghost story or a ghost experience, leave a comment down below. Let me know. I've had several. If you want to know more of my ghost stories, I mean, I know it's not October, but I've got several. I've, I've had experiences. So we can talk about that if you're interested. Um, if not, that's cool too. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, got any comments or whatever, leave them in the comment section. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.